According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Hey Psych2Goers! So, you want to make a good first impression, huh? Perhaps you're looking for a seductive and cool approach, or maybe you just want your crush to like you. Well, first impressions can make a difference. According to a study published in the Journal of Social Psychological and Personality Science, first impressions from a photograph of someone can influence another's judgment of them even after they've met. So, how can you make your first impression leave a lasting mark? Nothing to fear, in no time you'll learn the psychological tricks and seductive traits that will make your first impression not only a good one, but a great one. 1. Emotional Responsiveness as shown by research, one of the most alluring traits to bring out during a first impression is that of emotional responsiveness. It's how you respond to the negative emotions that can set you apart from others. Many partners want to see that you show concern for their welfare. Do you react well in emotionally distressing times? If you make great eye contact, give good advice, and comfort your partner for the benefit of their well-being, they may just find that trait alone extremely attractive. In a 2012 study conducted by researchers Birnbaum and Rice, subjects discussed a negative experience with an unfamiliar participant of the opposite sex. They then rated the partner's responsiveness and their sexual desire for them. Researchers found that responsive partners were seen as more sexually desirable. This was especially true for subjects who were described as more comfortable with sexual intimacy. 2. Become more novel and mysterious Are you mysterious? Many individuals love to explore and be entertained by mystery. Why do you think we're so addicted to mystery dramas and seek out exciting new entertainment on the internet? We're always looking for the next best thing to draw our attention. When someone possesses a trait of novelty, many can be drawn to them. How are you interesting and new? Spice up your life with new destinations, hobbies, and experiences. Then show your partner the many sides of you, while also leaving the hint of mystery. What could be next? 3. Wear red If you want to appear seductive and make a good impression, Wear red. In an experiment conducted by researchers Daniela Niesta Kayser, Andrew J. Elliott, and Roger Feltman, published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, researchers found that men are more likely to be attracted to the color red on women. In the experiment, men were tasked with asking women questions. Some women were clothed in red, while others in green. The men chose to ask the women in red more amorous questions. And in a second experiment, men chose to sit closer to women in red versus women in blue. As the research paper states, research shows for the first time that color influences men's behavior toward women in the romantic realm. Color, specifically red, appears to serve as a basic non-lexical prime that can influence important reproduction relevant behavior in similar fashion across species. 4. Imagine them already liking you. We tend to imagine the worst case scenario when meeting someone new and exciting. Instead, flip it around. If you imagine your date already liking you, you'll relax, gain confidence, and reflect positive vibes. You should give out good energy. So if you're already anxious and worried ruminating about what could go wrong, then that has a chance to give off negative energy. Instead, treat them as a familiar person who likes you, as long as you still keep it respectable. Five. Actively listen and make good eye contact. One of the most important qualities in a partner? Someone who can actively listen. This can be a very alluring trait. Harvard researchers discovered that taking the time to talk about yourself can have many rewards. In one of the five studies, subjects sat in an fMRI machine and responded to questions about either their own opinions on a subject or another's. Regions of the brain associated with reward and motivation were most active while talking about their own thoughts on a subject, as opposed to others. This need to talk about ourselves is so strong that in another study conducted by Harvard researchers, some subjects even declined money to talk about themselves more. 6. Use a floral fragrance One of the most important parts of a first impression? Scent. 
So if you smell like a greasy pillowcase, odds are you won't get that second date. It's best to look your best and look sharp. And when choosing a scent, research has found floral odors promote social interaction and the behavior to approach someone socially. Research from Rutgers University found that subjects used three times as many happiness-related words to write on life events when a floral scent was in the air, in contrast to when there was no fragrance present. 7. Use their name often People love the sound of their own names, and they may not realize it. We speak out someone's name to gain their attention. You can do this mid-conversation as well to bring their gaze back to you. We can even pinpoint our names spoken out of a crowded room. This form of selective attention is related to the cocktail party effect. At a party, for example, we can hone in on a specific conversation of our choosing. More importantly, if our name is spoken nearby, even when we are focused on another conversation, we immediately perk up and recognize that someone is talking about us. So slide in their name during a first impression. That is, if you know it. 8. Listen and repeat their phrases. People like people like them. Geez, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Science suggests your odds of someone liking you will increase if you use the same words they use. And if you catch on to their unique phrases, throw them in again at the end of your conversation or next meeting. It hints you are actively listening and care to learn about them. 9. Start with a confident presence and good posture. Confidence is key, and we can all work towards raising our confidence through positive thoughts and self-love. It's important to respect, value, and care for yourself in order to increase your confidence. Once you do, you need to show it. Practice maintaining good posture and a confident presence. Maintaining good eye contact has been known to help in first impressions. Think about why you desire someone. Maybe you know nothing about them, but they simply give off an attractive vibe. Because looks aside, an attractive presence is everything. Reflect on how you present yourself your behavior, your posture, and determine if it reflects who you are. If it does, stay true to you and the person of your dreams will like you for who you are, good posture or not. 10. Focus on a common passion. It's your first meeting. Your mind is blank. You can't think of anything to talk about. When in doubt, discover what it is you're both passionate about in life. This will drive the conversation forward in a natural way. We can't help but light up with a big smile when we talk about our passions. So, if the conversation seems to be dwindling too soon, ask them what they enjoy. Discover their passions and discuss it. Fast. It may just leave a lasting impression. And if you implement all these tips, it may just be a seductive impression at that. So, which traits or tips will you use first? And if so, who and when will you use them next? Share with us in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.